All right, today for science, we're going to talk about matter again. We're going to talk about how matter takes up space. And we have a ex couple of experiments that we're going to do to, to look at this. So go find your paper that looks just like this. At the top it says matter takes up space. And we'll work on this together as I do the experiment. And after I do the experiment, you can try this at home too if you have these things at home. Right, so the first thing it says that we need to do is we have to get a cup with water and we're going to, we measured a line on the, where the water is. Oh, you know what, let me move this down. There we go. All right, so I have a line where there's, where the water is right there. And it says your teacher is going to drop 30 marbles into a glass of water. Well, we'll see. I'm not sure if I have 30, but we'll start dropping some in. So if you want to count along with me, that would be great. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, I'll keep going to 30, here we go, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Now, you can see what happened. Do you see that line of water? It went higher, didn't it? Well, the reason it went higher is because those marbles took up the space in the water. Because remember, um, matter takes up space. And so those marbles took up the space in that water. It made it go a little bit higher. And it kind of, the water just kind of went all around the marbles to fill in the space. On your paper, you can draw, well, they wanted you to draw what you thought might happen, and then draw what really did happen. Next, we're going to do an experiment with this cup here. So what I want you to do, I am going to pour some of this oil on top of the cup. And what I want you to do before I do that is draw what you think is going to happen to the oil. Now we saw that the marbles went to the bottom. They sunk because they're heavy. Their mass is heavier than than the water so they sunk to the bottom and they made the water level go up. What do you think is going to happen if I put oil in? Hmm. Well let's see what happens. Let's see if you can see that. I'm going to pour the oil in. Let's see. Let's wait a minute see what happens. So you can see where the water line was by that black line. And did it go down? The water line did not go down. Look at the oil stayed on top. So it still took up space. You see in the cup, it took up space, but it's less dense than the water. So it stays on top and it floats on the top. Another experiment that we can do, and I can show you how um, matter takes up space is with a balloon. So look at this balloon. You see how it's flat? Well, there's no air in it. Well, air is matter. So if I blow up a balloon, I'm going to use the air to fill the balloon. Now what would happen if I were to sit on the balloon? Hmm. Let me see if I can back up. Maybe so you can see this. If I were to sit on the balloon, I'm going to put it here. If I'm going to sit on it. What do you think is going to happen? Ooh, look at that. You all probably thought it was going to pop, but it did not pop, did it? The air moved around, and it kind of shaped it a little bit differently, but it still took up space, and it stayed inside the balloon. So these experiments are experiments that you can do at home, and they're on your paper. The one with the balloon is right at the bottom here. 
And then it says at the bottom to draw a line from the beginning of the sentence to the end. So the water moved up. When did the water move up? Did the water move up when someone sat on it? Remember this one? Or when the marbles dropped in on top of the water or takes up space? Hmm, you have to draw a line to show which one that would be. Number two, the oil stayed. Where'd the oil stay? And draw a line to which one of those it would be. The balloon changed shape. What would be the en end of that sentence? And all matter what? What does all matter do? So do that bottom part. And um, you can snap us a picture so we can take a look at it.